What's up, it's your boy Eldre back with another video. Today I got a little little informative thing for you. I get questions about this all the time, so I thought I'd just come out, make a quick video just to explain the process of how to make a video to showcase your music, whether it be beats, songs, whatever it is. There's a few different ways to do it, and I'm just gonna go over how I do it. So this is what I'm doing. I haven't really been making beats lately, just an update on my life. Your boy is ready to move out of the garage. I've been looking for places, and it's just been kind of difficult and stressful, you know what I'm saying? And we're in the middle of a pandemic going back and forth to view houses and applications and all this other crazy stuff so that's why i haven't been too consistent with the videos but you probably won't notice let's learn some shit. this is how to make videos to showcase your music on instagram tiktok youtube whatever you're on you should definitely be on tiktok and you should definitely be on instagram but hopefully you're not someone who just posts pictures of their cats or a picture of them smoking marijuana i hope your music is being seen i talk about this all the time people hit me up in my dms like yo check out my beat or check out my new song i go to their page and there's no song in sight there's just links nobody's going straight to your link but if they're on your page and there's a video with a snippet of your song way more likely to listen to it because if it's good then i'm gonna go ahead and click that link but if you send me a link or you tell me to check all your music i go to your instagram page and there's no videos with music playing then i'm not even responding to the dm just just how it is that being said there's a few different ways to do it for like producers you can always do a video of you like actually making a beat with like edits and stuff like that or if you're a rapper rapping on the mic or just talking to the camera whatever it may be with that i've already done a detailed step-by-step -step process video on that so click this little card right here i'll leave the link to it right below the like button you can check that out if you want but that's one way not everybody likes to be on camera and i respect that i understand that because lately i've been doing videos without me being in them as well so another way is this way i like to do this way because of tiktok with this way this is more of like showcasing a skill all right so i'll show you an example this is just how i do my tiktok so this song goes so hard I like you. you know i had to i like you Final product. I do those right into TikTok. You don't need any editing software. I just film my laptop, film my face, and then I edit it together on TikTok, add in text and stuff like that. And then I make sure I save to library when I upload it. And then I just throw that same video on Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be. But that's more so to promote a specific thing, to showcase a talent. You do a remix, you make a beat with a bag of Skittles, something like that. That's still not what this video is about. This video is more focused on sound. So if you check out my TikTok, I post a video like I just showed you, and then I post a video like this. Come on, wait. Come on, wait. where it's pretty much just the artwork of my song on a video. It's super simple to do. I'm gonna show you how. So I use Final Cut Pro. There's a few apps on iPhone. You can use iMovie, Splice, or there's another one called InShot. So I'm just giving you ideas here, but if you wanna learn how to use those individual apps, you can find them and search them up. But these are the ideas of what you can do. So to make something like that with your song, all you have to do is open up a new project, call it whatever. So my main focus is usually TikTok because TikTok is really the number one place for this and everything with TikTok is vertical. So if you have the new Final Cut Pro, you can just go here and you can hit vertical. It'll just automatically give you the size. But yeah, the main size you want for vertical, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, it's 1080 by 1920. That's the size you wanna do to make a vertical video. For Instagram, that's just the story size and the reel size. But for the regular Instagram posts, you need to make it 1080 by 1350 that is the instagram size so pause that save that if you want to make it the specific instagram size but for now we're just going to do vertical and we're going to make sure it's 1080 by 1920 
It's really as simple as grabbing your song, dragging it on. Whatever your picture is, I like to have it spread out. So this is how I have mine. I have the background. So I just have the background on there, spread it out to like one minute. I have this saved as a PNG, which is a separate file just to be on top. So that way I can just make the background bigger and have this going. So at this point, all you have to do is export it and that's it. But like, I don't know, maybe you wanna do some animations or something. You can just mess around with filters if you want. One of the coolest ones is like bad TV. You can throw bad TV on there. Or you can do some keyframing stuff. If you're a complete beginner to editing video on Final Cut Pro, don't learn this from me. You can learn this from anybody else on YouTube. But pretty much what keyframing does, you can just go here, make it small, hit this little plus, which is for keyframes, and then maybe come to like the end of the video, bring that back to 100. So that way the whole video is just growing. Uh, it's just getting bigger and bigger just to make the video a little bit more interesting. Let's say you just have an image, you don't have the background. You would have to do some finessing. So like my drum kit art, if you just have artwork that's like a square, I mean, this is fine. The background's black or whatever, but you can always just zoom it in or you can be creative, make it super small. You could bring in a solid color. If you're trying to have like some type of aesthetic, I don't care about changing the color, but you can make it small. Maybe throw like a border on it, change the color to a freaking turquoise or pink. Pink. And then what you can do is just keyframe that. Got the next couple. Have that move around, mess with the scale every now and then, do some stuff like that. Look up keyframing and you can learn some cool things to do. But that's another way to do it. That's another idea. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. These days, the simpler things you do, the better it is. So now here's another way. I'll show you this video I did for Bojack Horseman. <laughs> So something like this, super simple. All you wanna do, find some clips on YouTube of your favorite TV show. You can either do one clip like I did. This is just one scene. It went really well with the song, but you can get a bunch of clips and like put them together like that. And then all I did was I added two filters on it. This is how you get that like vintage VHS effect without it being too much. So you just, here's aged film. Boom, you throw aged film on there. And we don't like those scratches, all right? Those scratches are tacky. Get rid of the scratches right here. Boom, you get rid of it. Maybe turn the amount down a little. And then we throw on prism. Prism is what gives you that little VHS RGB color effect. And then you just wanna turn that down. You don't want too much of it. And then boom. <laughs> Now you got this cool little vintage video. So you can do this with anything. Um, here's another example. You know what I'm saying? Same concept. All I did was drag the song on. In this video, I'm gonna give you a real key right now. So in my last video on artwork, I showed you this website called Unsplash with a bunch of royalty free pictures that you can use for your artwork. So this is a website called Pixabay. I don't know, but pretty much this is just like Unsplash, a bunch of free videos. You just hit the videos tab and you search up anything. If you're making a really sad lo-fi beat, you may think of like rain. Boom, you search rain. Now stay away from these top ones. These are sponsored, but you scroll down, cool little video of like cars at nighttime. Pick the size you want, you download it, you make a new project. Let's make it vertical or if it's for a YouTube video, you can make it 1080p. Let's grab a beat. Grab the video we just downloaded, boom, zoom it up. Doesn't matter, throw on some aged film, throw on some prism, and then boom. I'm not really a fan of this video, but yeah, you can go in, download a bunch of different videos. So whatever app you're using, you just need to know how to chop things up and move them around. And it's that simple. Now that's just a few ideas off the top of my head. And I know what you're all thinking. Eldre, how do you do the little tape videos? I kind of want to keep it a secret because I figured it out. <laughs>
it's kind of like my signature thing i don't want everybody to start doing it you know you know me all right it's it's your boy it's it's the young table i am a table it's your boy eldrick I give away sauce all the time. So I just want you to look at me and respect the fact that I've turned this little tape thingy into my trademark thing. So sorry, bro. Cause honestly, the way I made the tape thing, I found a tape online and then I just, I finessed it. All right. So get creative, come up with your own signature style. Like I did, you can do it yourself. If you look like people like Monty Booker, he just posted this on Instagram today. <laughs> He just posted some fire beats just with colors. It doesn't have to be too crazy. If you have a logo, you can just have your logo playing with music in the background. All I'm saying is this is how you get your music out there. You have to make content around the music and it's as simple as using Final Cut Pro, throwing the music down and putting a video on top. Now I'm an iPhone and Mac user. So all the Android peeps are people who do this for a living. Drop some comments of some free apps people can use to do this. That'll be helpful, but I highly recommend Final Cut Pro if you're a content creator if you're a musician if you're a musician and you have mac imovie is free you can always use imovie there's hundreds of video editing softwares but that's how you do it this video is just to get your idea ball rolling but yeah that's it um if you like the video hit a thumbs up hit that subscribe button for more i hope you learned something moral of the story was to be creative check out the other video on how to make beat videos the link is below the like button so shout out to everybody who entered the contest we're going to be reacting to the submissions tonight man we got a lot of submissions bear with us we got way more submissions than we thought we would if you haven't downloaded the pack the link will be below the like button as well go download that free chris poncelon and Eldre sample pack. But yeah, thanks for streaming the music. I am a table, don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thank you for watching. Eldre out.